BBC Radio Derby. Now, the lineup has been confirmed for Spring Balls at the Buxton Fringe. It's a special event at the town's Green Man Gallery designed to promote the changing season. It's happening on the 1st of April, so not too long to go now. And joining me to tell me more is Stephanie Billen, the marketing officer. Hello, Stephanie. Hello. Hi. How are you? You well? Very well, thank you. Yes. Good stuff. So this sounds really exciting. Can you tell me a bit more about what we can expect from Springboard? Yes, what it is, it's, it's a bit of a freebie, really. It's a, it's a bit of a taster for the big fringe that we have in July. Um, and um, what it is, is it's at the Green Man Gallery, and it's from 7 till 9 on Saturday, April the 1st, and that's, it's not an April Fool. This is a real, a real thing that's happening. Um, and we've just, we asked our performers, the people who've already entered the Fringe, whether they wanted to do something. And we've got um, a really nice lineup of um, a singer-songwriter, um, Hannah Brine, who has got a bit of a sort of Karen Carpenter vibe about her. It's really lovely. And she's, she's going to be singing with her, with the pianist called George Aqua. Um, and there's also, we've got um, Peter Egriega, who's won multiple awards at the Fringe and always brings something different. And he's got a clown-themed um, taster of something that he's doing involving music and also mime, intriguingly. Not sure how those two things go together, but he'll make it happen. And then we've also got comedy from Sarah Carrot and Chrissy Dawson, who are just two of the cast of the Northern Sketch Group, I'll Have What She's Having Productions. So that there's something for everything, everyone just there, you know, in, in that in that little party. And then you can also have a drink and, and have some food and, and meet the fringe performers and um, committee members. So it'll be really fun. Have you had much interest in it so far? People telling you that they're excited about this? About Springboard or about the certainly the fringe itself is um, going incredibly well. We've got um, we've got last time I looked and it's probably different now. It was about 103 entries already, um, uh, so it's really going very well. I think that sort of post COVID jitters and things. I think it's I think that's going now, and people are really keen to get up there on on stage and uh, and yeah, Springboard. Um, oh, certainly all people I talk to are very keen to to get in there and and just get a taster of what's going to be happening in July. You mentioned the entries for the Fringe Festival. Now, you're still open for more entries, aren't you, if people are interested? We are, yes. And um, people don't always realise that if you get your entry in by the end of March, your entry fee is lower. So it's £77 if you get in before the end of March. Um, other than that, um, the, the deadline for the um, printed programme, to, to make sure that you're featuring the printed programme, is April the 16th, so that's £88. I mean, it's still, it's still a steal, really, but, uh, but yes, so, so it's, um, there is still time to get yourself together and find your venue and, um, and enter the Fringe, which takes place from the 5th to the 23rd of July. Fingers crossed the weather will be a little nicer than it is today in Derbyshire and East Staffordshire. And it is one of those events that's so nice, isn't it? Because it's sunny, you're in a beautiful part of the world, everyone's coming together. Yeah, that's right. You know, I was, I've been looking at some of the... I was updating our galleries um, from last year and just looking at the scene um, because we do so much in the Pavilion Gardens and we have um, free events like Fringe Sunday based around the bandstand on the Pavilion Gardens. And, and living here, you, you're inclined to take it for granted. But actually, when you look at it, it's just a stunning venue to have um, entertainment like that. And the town is so compact and it's like a little mini Edinburgh. It's really lovely. And isn't it like 1980 that the Buxton Fringe got underway? So it's been going for a while, hasn't it? It certainly is. Yes, that's right. Yes, it's been going on for over 40 years. So it's really well established. Yeah, no, it's, it's really good. So if we want to find out more details about Springboard and then perhaps the Buxton Fringe as well, what's the best place for us to go to? Um, if you have a look on our website, website which is www.buxtonfringe.org.uk, Great stuff. Well, I hope Spring Ball goes well. Sounds like you've got a really good lineup already. And also Buxton Fringe in the summer as well. Thank you for your time, Stephanie. Not at all. Thank you.